Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. And today we're going to do a super quick uh, a way of getting your zero stock levels. Um, so everything to do with your inventory and in zero, like uh, price description, sale price, sale description, uh, cost pool and uh, quantities and things like that, uh, just to how to automatically import it into Google Sheets. Uh, so let's jump right in. Uh, okay, so here we are in Google Sheets. Uh, you're going to have to obviously create a new sheet or you can work in an existing sheet. And the tool we're going to use is the, a tool called API Connector. So if you don't have API Connector, please use the link in my bio uh, or description below this video. And it's uh, it will help you uh, add it in. And I also get a commission then if you do decide to subscribe to it. So so API Connector is just a, you know, you just go to add-ons, uh, for instance, you'll have add, but I'm going to manage it because I've already got it. And it looks like this over here. As you can see, uh, 1.6 million people are using it as of now. So it's quite popular. All right. So we're going to need two things. You're going to need uh, your API URLs. Also, guys, if you've never used any sort of code, this is also fine. Just follow along. Uh, you're going to need these two URLs. And I've just written it zero tenant ID because that is needed in the uh, composition of the API call. So what we're going to do is let's uh, open up API connector. So you've obviously installed it at this point and you're going to have a blank uh, sort of layout here. Then we're going to select create request. And to uh, essentially all we actually need to do is just request this API. But what we need to do is we need to get the uh, your tenant ID. So we're going to first um, get your organization data. So I'm going to copy this, paste that in there. Uh, OAuth, then you have to just select, uh, they've already set it up nicely, so you have to just set zero. Uh, if it's not connected, you have to just uh, connect it either through manage connections, add your zero, and you can see there uh, your tenant is uh, below that. Uh, everything else you can leave blank. Uh, I'm going to put it though in a sheet that I've just named tenant ID. Cell A1. I'm going to just set it there. So it's going to put the date, output the data here to tenant ID cell A1. And let's just call this ID. And I might as well save it. Not critical, but let's run that. Usually takes about a, a, a few seconds or so. Um, okay. And what we are looking for is over here, AC organization ID. So copy that. And what we're going to then do is go back to notes. Uh, I'm going to paste it in there. So long your, the ID, and I'm going to copy the second URL paste it in there for items. Uh, you can also view the other items available, uh, the other sort of URLs and, and calls. And then we just need to take zero tenant ID, paste it in there. And I'm going to put this in, I'm going to change. So I'm actually overriding that first thing because you never need to use that organizations again, once you've got your tenant ID. So I'm going to set it now to zero stock and I'm going to just rename it to stock API. And uh, is just for good practice, let's save and run this. So in this case, I've obviously got quite a few uh, stock items, so it might take a, a second. Okay, and there you can see everything's brought through. I've got my item ID, uh, item code, descriptions, item purchase, input, sales values, all of these, de all of these details uh, you can see here in the headers. Uh, sorry for blurring all of the info out. Um, but now you might be thinking, okay, this looks pretty average uh, and I don't need all of these uh, and I maybe don't need the tax details. So no problem. What you do is you just go edit fields. Let that open up. And then we can just start deselecting any of the columns that we don't want. Uh, so I actually don't, 
add, actually I'm gonna filter all and then I'm just gonna add in a couple of the ones I do want. Description, really, and the uh, quantity on hand and the cost pool. So I can get the average cost of it. Uh, but it depends. Whatever you want to add, you can add. Once you've added it, you can click save. It's okay. Click there, and then we can just run it again. So once that's updated, it looks way better, way more usable, uh, way more friendly. And then what you can do is you can now actually do some formulas in some occasions here, but what you have to do is uh, just change it to over here, uh, just clear sheet data. So unselect that if you want to add any formulas uh, on the sides of the data. Sometimes handy, so if you wanted to work out the average cost of an item, then you would just divide the total cost pool by the quantity on hand, and you'll have your average cost. So uh, last thing, save this once you're happy with it, manage requests, schedule it. Uh, if you upgrade to the Pro, you can create a trigger, uh, you select your uh, uh, so I will just leave it on all for now. However, long so if you're on the like pro pro plan, it's every you can go uh, as much as every hour. Uh, then just select your user that you want to run it as. This is usually the user that's subscribed to uh, API Connector, and then you give it a name, auto. Oops, see, uh, auto, save that. And that's it. Now it's just going to set to run every hour. It's going to bring in your stock. So if you have, uh, I mean, it, like the possibilities, if you are endless, if you're, if you're managing stock in zero, uh, or even if you have a few stock lines, you can now use this for, uh, automated stock notifications when you're running low, uh, what's overstocked, what your biggest, uh, inventory holdings are, uh, stock count checklists. So yeah, the, the possibilities are endless with it. And I found it super helpful to, for my business. I mean, uh, you can also use Geocon to do the same thing. Uh, it's, it's pretty much the same. Um, there are also a cost, but I mean, Geocon has got a whole bunch of other features, but I've done loads of videos in Geocon already. Uh, but this is useful and API connects is an amazing tool as well. So if you guys want to try it out for like anything else, uh, they have, uh, if we create a new trigger, they have just like um, a new request, I mean, uh, create a request, like you can use this for literally anything, um, uh, LinkedIn, uh, some phones, like there's, they, they've basically built this API library of, uh, zero, I mean, pretty sure QuickBooks, uh, they've got that. So if you want to try, get some, play around with some data in your spreadsheets, uh, this is definitely worth uh, testing out. You can basically bring in, you can also post stuff so you can send stuff from your spreadsheet to certain things. You do need a bit of uh, playing around with some of them, uh, but once you figure it out, it's it's super useful and they've got really good support and help on it. So yeah, guys, um, short video today. I uh, hope you guys like it. I'm Andy. I do business and business tips videos and automations and everything to help your business grow and hope you guys enjoy. Please make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys soon.